Well, bad luck, Ricard. He may not have won the Volvic Best Dressed, but he did have the chance to showcase his autumn collection at the Omega European Masters. To experience the beauty and serenity of the Valais Alps, Kahlberg took a cable car ride to the Plain Mort Glacier. It's a head spinning near 3,000 meters or almost 10,000 feet high. It's beautiful here. It's one of the nicest venues of the year, I think, and a lot of the other guys think the same. So it's nice to be back here. Kahlberg calls Gothenburg in Sweden home, a place not famed for its towering mountainous peaks. We get the nature in one way, but we don't have the mountains as here, so uh, you really enjoy it. Like his compatriot Jarmo Sandelin, Kahlberg is a colourful character and he likes to do eccentric things. However, following his caddy down to the glacier was not one of them this week. My caddy was running down another time and see if he could run all the way was a bet and he actually did it uh, last year. So. Uh, but I, I will not be that stupid and run all the way down the back. Since his rookie season on the Asian Tour in 2010, Kahlberg splits his year between Gothenburg and his second home in Hua Hin, Thailand. In that short space of time, he's learned to love the heat. Now I've been living in Thailand for two years and most of the time, and then when I come back to Sweden in the summer, you get used to the heat when you uh, get back and something like that cold, you, you don't really enjoy it. The 25-year-old registered his breakthrough win at the 2010 Sale Open at the Delhi Golf Club. He led from start to finish for an emphatic five-stroke win over local favourite Shiv Kapoor. Yeah, it was. I mean, that, that win gave me some cushion and I got a two-year exemption and, of course, good money and some self-esteem boast. Um, so it was really important for me in my career. A third place finish at the Barclays Singapore Open in 2010 was followed by a Delhi double delight as Kahlberg won the Hero Honda Indian Open. With that win, Kahlberg earned the title the King of Delhi, but believes another DGC double winner, Anibal Lahiri, now has the crown. I was there for a, for a while, uh, but unfortunately, uh, haven't played a good the last time we've been in Delhi. It feels like Lahiri have been taking over that a bit. He's been playing good this year and great at Delhi Golf Club. But uh, yeah, I hope to get back on the throne. Without a top 10 on the Asian tour since that Indian Open win, it was time to make some adjustments. So in came Darren Webster Clark to fine tune Ricard's swing. We've been working quite a lot on the swing to, to make it better and it's coming along more and more and uh, now when I'm starting to try to swing more on one plane, uh, maybe do it pretty good on the back but I still come over it a bit so get a little bit too much fade sometimes so that's what I'm working on. Progress has been promising. At the European Tour's Leoness Open in Austria in July, Kohlberg finished tied fourth behind Ballantyne's Open champion Bernd Wiesberger. It was the Swedes' best result in 18 months. If you compare my swings from uh, December until now, you, you will not think it's the, the same person. And still, I played as good as I have with those kind of changes. That's, uh, that, that make me proud. And if I just can keep on just getting what I want and keep it that way, I'm, 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 we will see more solid results. Kahlberg is an avid blogger and regularly connects with his fans through social media. One of his recent posts has been a quirky music video featuring him and his golf buddies in Arle. Every year in Sweden you have the national club championship and we are at the highest division. And Two years ago we started to do uh, like a video, like a music video of a famous song played in Sweden. And uh, this year we did the same again. Uh, it's a lot of fun. The PGA Tour Golf Boys video featuring Bubba Watson, Ben Crane, Hunter Mahan and Ricky Fowler has seen nearly five and a half million hits on YouTube. But Kahlberg claims to have pioneered the genre. We did the first time before they did. I mean, they compensate their own uh, I mean, music and sing by itself. We are just, you know, do the uh, mimic. A mid-season breather gave Kahlberg a chance to enjoy the biggest sporting extravaganza, the London Olympics. 
Like millions of people, he was mesmerized by Usain Bolt. As golf makes its debut in the next edition of the event in Rio, Kahlberg is hoping to represent his country. It would mean a lot. I mean, you always grown up with the Olympics and golf gets into the Olympics, like the, the game you love and to be part of everything. It would be like a dream come true. The bigger dream in his eyes is to become the first Swede to win the Masters and that famous green jacket. A place in a future Ryder Cup team would be the icing on the cake. I have to say, uh, win Pat at the guest of getting the green, green jacket is all I've ever dreamed about. The Ryder Cup winning part is more like a bonus, I feel. Until that happens, could Kohlberg be king of the mountains this week?